For this film, where did the inspiration and the idea come to you for this film? Uh, well, some of the themes in Against the Current were drawn from my own life, dealing with problems of uh, grief and loss. And, uh, you know, how do we go on in life after we've experienced some traumatic event that has affected us deeply? So that part of it, the emotional part of it, was inspired by, uh, you know, things that I'd wrestled with. The setting, uh, I grew up on the Hudson River, and I once swam across the river, and it's always just this been a part of my life, this, this big grand river, right? You know, I could see it from, uh, from my window as a kid. And so it was merging, you know, my setting with uh, some of my life experiences to fashion a narrative. Mm -hmm. of a man trying to swim the, the entire length of this river. How did you find um, in, this in this film working with uh, actors like Joseph Fiennes and uh, Justin Kirk? Those guys were great. Uh, you know, it was a very challenging shoot. It was only 22 days, only eight days on the water. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was really difficult in that compressed time frame to uh, get the shots we needed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was the, and working on water was just a nightmare. I mean, the boats would be, you know, we had at least always four boats. You know, we had a picture boat where the actors were in. We had a camera boat. We had a lifeboat, uh, you know, support boat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then an overall boat for supplies and things like that. And, you know, you you'd spend an hour trying to set everything up and then the boats would start drifting out of the frame and or drifting into the shot as you were, mm -hmm. as you were filming. So it was difficult. Um, what would you say about this film that you're most proud of, of the finished article? I think that uh, just <laughs> that, it, that it got done. That it got done and I like it. You know, <laughs> I was, it, was, it was a long process and you never know if you're going to be able to actually get the movie done. And then in the editing, is it is it going to work when you're filming it? Is like is this a is this good or is this bad? And then you're editing, and then people are you know it was just it was a long, arduous process. And the fact that that I can sit through it and enjoy it, even now, is uh, something I'm I'm proud of. That and that we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we managed to shoot a, a a good movie in 22 days that took place. Yeah. Uh, partially on water. How long ago did you start writing this? Is it something that sort of you've been kind of jotting down ideas and as you've been experiencing these things or was it something that you focused your mind on sitting down and writing this script? I wrote it in uh, 2002 and I don't remember the exact genesis of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it was a hard script to write. I've written several scripts. This was one of the more difficult ones perhaps because it was uh, dealt with some personal themes so it probably took a year to write, um, and then it took another five years to bring all the elements together to start filming it. Mm -hmm. um, I've read um, a few reviews um, about the film, having not seen it as well, and quite a lot of it seems a quite a common thing that people say it's very um, thought-provoking and it sort of brings about um, emotional turmoil in the audience themselves watching it. Is this something that you wanted to achieve in the film, or is it Perhaps something that it came, it, just happened? I, 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 you know, I, I certainly hope that. I, to me, the greatest movies are movies that, that move you in some way. And, and this movie, I think, was inspired by the movies that were important to me as a, as a child growing up. I liked 1970s American films like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Dog Day Afternoon, mm -hmm. Midnight Cowboy. They were all films that dealt with serious, heavy-duty emotional subjects but also had a lot of humor in them yes. as my film does mm -hmm. almost and, as in like as in life <laughs> yeah that was the whole point to me life has a combination of tragedy and humor and they're often intertwined mm -hmm. how did you start out in the industry as well um, where was it something that you were always going to do when you were younger is it something that I you kind of fell you know, into when I was a kid I didn't really think oh I want to grow up to be a filmmaker I, I wasn't sure I think I eventually um, sort of migrated to wanting to write. Um, but this was not until, you know, college, early college years. And from writing, I think um, I was drawn to writing screenplays. To I like dialogue, mm -hmm. and I like the shorter scenes, I like the format of it. 
And from there, it was like, well, I've written my script. I don't want to just give it to somebody else and have them direct it and ruin it. I'd like to ruin it. You know? <laughs> I don't look at filmmakers specifically. I look at, at films. And it, mostly, it's those American, that, that golden era, what I consider the 1970s American film. That is the kind of filmmaker I would like to be. <laughs> Well, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you get the chance yeah. to do another film as well. I hope so, too. Peter Callahan, thank you very much for your time. It was an absolute you. pleasure meeting you, and I'm looking forward to seeing your film.